what is happening guys welcome to your third smart examiner designer tutorial okay what we're gonna do next is to talk about the papers now like we talked about you can have multiple papers within an exam and what I forgot to mention about the exam is that you can also have multiple exams for instance I can create a new exam but you should not get this twisted um, the exam can only be exported as one for instance if I want this exam to be um, administered I want to export it to import it in the smart examiner manager I just right click on this and export to file you cannot export multiple exams what you can do is to save them as a project save them together as a project which we're gonna do now now in case you're working on this project and you need to continue later on you can just click on fire save as project and you just give it a name I'm just gonna call this tutorial and I'm just gonna click on save so then we have saved the project we can continue later on open it and close it later on as we wish all right now moving to the business of the day which is talking about the paper the paper is also the paper title is also visible to the user it's just like the name of the subject which you're about to write for instance it can be something like an aptitude and um, let's say you're writing multiple exams you can have something like use of English uh, or something something whatever subject or module you're calling it um, but it's visible now one thing you need to know is that um, this description and um, instruction are not compulsory for the paper they only compulsory when you check show description and instruction before paper starts for instance um, each paper has its own description and instruction okay you can just activate this but if you do not need them you can just deactivate them okay for the papers then we have the paper properties this is the duration of the paper in minutes the minimum allow time is five minutes so you can change this to whatever time you want you can say this 45 minutes okay and um, section arrangements we're gonna skip that for now and we'll go on to the next now this questions to answer is the number of questions which will be available to a particular exam you need to answer now you can ask me why do we need this um, can it not be calculated from this that exactly what it does for instance if I add a new question you can see it increase, increases this but let me say you want to create an exam whereby you're having something like a question bank and um, you just want the user to be able to pick out of that question bank and not answering all of them that's where this comes into play so for instance um let me say I have a questions like um, up to five uh, but I just want the user to answer three out of this what I'm just gonna do is to change this to three after I must have created all my exams now one thing you need to understand is if you change this and you add a new question it is gonna reset to the number of questions available so what we would advise you do is after you're done with this you just change this to the number of questions that the user can answer for instance four and that is done which means you're not messing around with the questions anymore okay so which means only four questions will be picked out of the six and shown to the user now let's go into section arrangements like you have seen here we have created um, six questions within this six questions within this um, paper now coming down to contents and sections here we can see the questions you can see the sections and we can see the question types now this brings us to another point talking about sections now when we talk about sections sections are a way to partition a paper for instance you're having um, a paper like use of English for instance whereby you're having stuff like um, let's say um, comprehension is a section you're having some like nearest and meaning is another section opposite and meaning is another section you can create all your sections here you can just have comprehension okay um, now this is a question flow for the section now 
I think I'm gonna explain this probably in the next tutorial okay when we talk about sections generally but I'm just gonna do this for now and I'm just gonna say let me just put dragons here just to make this faster the next thing I could have something like nearest in meaning meaning okay and um, just gonna put in some description basic descriptions here what I can do is to change the section of a particular question moving it from what it is to something else for instance I can change the section of question 3 to comprehension changing this to um, comprehension one thing you need to know you can also change it from within the question but since we're talking about papers now I'm just gonna change it within the paper and um, having nearest in meaning this is nearest in meaning changing this to nearest in meaning okay basically as you can see I have three sections within this and each of them are having two questions by the way the default section is always present okay the only thing you can do is to edit it and change the name but you cannot delete the default section for instance I could change this to something like oral English uh, since we're talking about English let's just go ahead with it and I could change this and um, but you cannot delete the default section so what you might want to do is to edit it then start creating from there okay because a question must belong to a section that's the way this works okay now talking about the section arrangement we're talking about when the user is taking the exam how are the questions presented how are the questions presented now if we say the section arrangement is randomized which means any section can come before any other section that's just what it means but if we say sequential it means that the way it is listed here that's the way the questions are going to be presented for instance I can um, change this to randomize and my exam can start with comprehension and probably move to oral English probably move to um, nearest and meaning but if you say sequential just exactly the way it is that's the way it's going to be one thing you can do is to just move this up and down the way you want it I could move this down I could move this up the way you want it so exactly the way it's finally listed when you export it that's exactly the way it's going to show up based on your setting I think I can just do the section on um, discussion here okay as once now within a section you can also talk about how the questions are shows within that section okay the questions are shown within that section how they are presented now within a section we're having the question flow now how are the questions shown to the user within that section now we have defined how the arrangement of the section would be if they are sequential or randomized now within the context of the section the questions that belongs to that section how are they presented can they be randomized or should they be sequential this is what it defines so you tell yourself okay I want comprehension to come before nearest the meaning now within the comprehension should the questions come sequentially or can they appear in a randomized fashion so it is based on your setting that would work with but for comprehension mostly is always sequential for other ones there could be a um, nearest in meaning so that is it about the um, the paper for now okay we'll see you in the next tutorial when we talk about the questions thank you very much for watching